rotten or rusty. Yes, I <laughs> oh, anyhow, shout out to our audio team because that is the perfect <laughs> song for this next segment. You know, the holidays can produce so much trash and some things you can recycle, uh, some things that you cannot. So we have Lucas and Alyssa with us from the city of Phoenix to talk about uh, what can and cannot go. You know, I took two loads of big boxes at the recycling uh, last night. It's never fun to do that haul. No. My trash is not very close to me. Uh, but Alyssa, I want to start with you because mm -hmm. you have um, a program that's going on right now. Yes. Uh, tell me about it. So Recycle Bank is an education program where Phoenix residents can sign up and earn points um, for learning um, about recycling, learning about um, how to green your holidays is a really okay. exciting one right now, which is what we're going to talk about a little okay. bit. And um, you earn points and you can use them at local establishments and okay. earn rewards. Okay. So uh, you're re being rewarded for being good to Mother Earth. Yes. Which you exactly. should be doing anyhow. <laughs> That's good though. We like that. Okay. So Lucas, we're going to start over here and kind of work our way down and talk about what um, we can and cannot recycle, how we should handle these things. Sure. So it's that time of the year when we're doing a lot more purchasing than we usually do. So. We have a lot of gift bags that are recyclable. So these are paper product. Most paper products, if you can rip it, you can usually recycle it. Okay, All I would so. ask for a gift bag was that you just cut off the handles. Oh. And that's totally recyclable. Okay. And same thing with gift wrap. If you can rip gift wrap, it's recyclable. Um, you will you'll be able to tell if it's not recyclable if you can't rip it. Okay. So again, paper products. Plastic, hard plastic recyclable, so like a cup. A lot of the toys come in this type of what we call yes. like a blister pack. Oh. This is totally recyclable. Again, mm -hmm. a hard plastic. Uh, paperboard, recyclable, we have cardboard, so all that He's stuff is recyclable. <laughs> this table looks better already, I Yeah, like so it. it looks pretty good. Okay. Um, then we the can move lights. on to our lights. So these cause us a lot of problems at a recycling facility, so these aren't recyclable. Uh -huh. So you, I, what I would say, if you have these and you don't want them anymore, donate them. Okay. Um, same thing with what other... What do we do with the broken ones? Just like broken ones, you can right? actually replace broken ones okay. if it's a couple lights, but yeah, if, if you don't want to donate it, yeah. we just okay. throw it away. Yeah. Um, same thing, oh, excuse me, same thing with uh, bulbs, mm -hmm or ribbon. So this stuff's definitely not recyclable. This causes all sorts of issues at a facility. We get a lot of this stuff during the really? season. Oh, yeah, I'm unfortunately. sure. Because it looks so. like paper. It seems like paper, but it you can't like rip it. it. Yeah, so you can't not rip recyclable. it. So not recyclable. Okay. And then we're moving on yeah. to our trash. So all of this stuff over here, definitely put it in your trash can. This so, is a napkin that looks like it's been recycled. It's yeah, made so, of recycled content. So napkins have been recycled, but they can't be recycled again. So if you have a composting program at home, uh -huh. um, you can compost these, but these are not recyclable. It's because the fibers in them have already been recycled a few times. Who went to Pestino? <laughs> Was it Someone went to Pestino. <laughs> but and then so this is same thing with paper towels. So paper towels, we have, paper towels and napkins are one of those big issues that yeah. we have at the facility as well. And so. how does that clog up the system? Because I always think I, I did some interview where they were talking about things kind of clog up the system, and that we need to uh, just put the trash uh, just straight into the sure. bin and not in a, a plastic bag. Yeah. So and that's a good point. So these are our number one problem at the recycling facility. So these will get wrapped up around the machines, uh -huh. and then they cause the facility actually to shut down. So. So you bring those into Walmart. Or yeah, Walmart. Target grocery store. Yeah. I think even Best Buy has an option to recycle these now. So they are recyclable, just not in your curbside container. Okay. So and then styrofoam. So you get a lot of styrofoam mm -hmm. in the holidays with the gifts as well. This yeah. is totally not recyclable either. And what are we doing? I mean, you had that little blister pack for I don't know uh, what that was sure. for. But oh my gosh, I went grocery shopping yesterday. Picked up a couple things. I mean, you have the the box for the toothpaste, the box for the deodorant. All these things that come in boxes that you don't yeah. even need. It's yeah. Just, like bad marketing. Unfortunately. So yeah. the good news is a lot of the times it is recyclable. So again, I go back to if it's a hard plastic like this, it's usually recyclable. Mm -hmm. Any type of soft plastic, it's not recyclable. That's usually how I explain it to residents. Makes okay. it easy for them. And it is exciting. You have zero waste because we that's do. the city of Phoenix's goal. It's yep. zero waste. So we all need to be on board. Uh, Lucas, thank you so no much. Problem. Alyssa, thank, thank you. you. She says you'll even be rewarded. So we'll put information on our website, azfamily.com. And uh, be good to Mother Earth for the holidays. Kimmy.